Okay, how are we doing out there today? First things first, my name is Kenneth Burt. My company is Crystal H Technology Screens. I'm going to apologize in advance for this. I got a cat, and she is basically full of energy right now. So you might see her flying across the floor at 100 miles an hour. You might hear a bunch of bells going off in the background as they're playing with her toys. All right, so with that being said, let's move on. All right, so as I said before, that the technology we develop on a Phoenix has more than one application you can use for other things besides uh, painting this onto walls and um, and uh, other forms of uh, fixed frame projection screens and surfaces, but you can also apply this to your ceiling. Now, I had a Nova 17 up on the ceiling a while ago, a while ago, and then I went in and I changed it out for advanced ambient light projection, Black Phoenix 19, and these are the results. Now, how this is done, I have an ultra short though projector, as you can see right there on the floor next to the acoustic projection screen, and that is producing an image straight to the ceiling, and with a little keystoning and a custom built um, stand, I'm able to be able to project directly to my ceiling without paying all the extra money for optical wiring and all that other crazy stuff you would need in order to get the visual effects to appear on your ceiling. This is also a fantastic product for those that are using it for mapping, projector mapping, or forms of visual and special effects uh, due to the fact that a black surface is going to be to produce a much, much better image than a light or gray screen, light gray screen or uh, white screen anytime. All right, so let's begin. We may get a few commercials in here from time to time. I'm going to show you how cool this looks. This is being projected right to the ceiling. Mm-hmm. Takes a talk also, too, just to let you know. And one of the things you can't do this with a uh, gray screen or white screen because they cannot pick up those contrast levels needed to camouflage the screen to make it look more realistic, give it more depth to it. I'm going to take my camera off the stand for a minute so I can walk around and take a look at this. I get more of a visual effect without the stand. Well, I can show you more without the stand. This is how cool this looks. And I can go from one end over here. Now, this, mind you, this technology is using our ambient light rejection, or well, actually our new ambient light rejection technology. So we like to call this ambient light rejection, ambient light rejection, black technology gain, 19. Here.
sound is coming through our acoustic speakers. Let's go farther up. Let me make sure we have no copyrighted licensed music on that. Just in case, because they're playing some music on here. I want to make sure we're not tampering with anyone's music. Let's put in a screensaver 3D koi fish pond. Okay, so we have over here. So they gave us what we wanted. Oh, uh, yeah, we have this one right here. I've done this one earlier today. I thought this was quite amazing. We're gonna the koi fish on here. Here. 3D screensaver coil fish relaxing. Getting that from YouTube. This is much better. There we go. That's much better. And also too, like I said, we did with the lights on. This has that Nova. Sorry, I keep saying Nova. I'm so used to saying Nova because the screen up here was a Nova when I first started off. And now it's a Phoenix 19. So the Phoenix 19 has that amazing ambient rejection game. This is also fantastic if you don't want to do special effects for your business. How you can display 
koi fish right over top of your ceiling using our black technology. What are you doing? Who would I be if I said Hold on for a minute. I'll be back. She's over there doing something very mischief. I told you I, in the camera, I'm sorry about this, but from time to time I gotta go back there. And she does some very mischief stuff. It's a cat. one of those tablets they have for cats. Well, actually, I'm going to buy a tablet for the cat. Uh, they have something called Cat TV to keep them occupied because she does some weird stuff. Over there, um, we have a metal... Um, sorry about that in the middle of the video. We have a metal um, um, grate over the um, radiators and she was actually pushing back and forth on that. I don't know why, but we need to basically get a little tablet so you keep her occupied. There we have some beautiful fish being displayed on the ceiling. You see how beautiful the colors come up. Sorry about that. Let me show you how beautiful that looks. I'm going to try to find some more different applications we can use for the ceiling. You can see how beautiful the bright the colors come up. Come up here on this side. Some different angles. And it shows you that you can utilize our technology for more than just projecting it onto a wall for a projection screen. You can actually use it for visual effects, special effects, stuff like that. Now I got some special announcements we're going to make. We're going to be bringing the blue back onto the website. We just want to do some more research on it first before we launch that product. Uh, that will be back on the website and also too we'll be getting ready to launch the um, transparent uh, screen, the invisible. Those will be launching very soon too, also too, because like I said, I wanted to do some more research first before launching it, just to make sure we cover everything so that um, everything is working well. All right, so I'm gonna come over here on this side. And a few people were looking at my, my ceiling, they were like, why is your ceiling black? The ceiling's black because it's an actual projection screen up there. That's why it's black there. It took two coats to paint this screen right here. I want two coats to do it. I'll put my lights on to show you that you can have your lights on. You don't have to worry about the screen washing out or fading. Still maintain a very beautiful image. And this is something, like I said, gray and white screens can't do due to the fact that you're just gonna be reflecting too much white light and it's gonna fade the image even faster. Where we can pick up a nice deep blue with no problem and still maintain a beautiful image. And this is also fantastic if you have this for like an art gallery or in your store for a display, very easy to set up. Now, if you're gonna be using ultra short throws, you can use ultra short throws, but you're gonna have to mount them very close to the ceiling. But I like using the short throw projector. Now, this is my NEC projector. I got this for $139. That's a custom stand I built for myself. And like I said, once you hit the ceiling with a little corner keystone, you can pop it in there just right.
Let's do Star Phillips Screensaver. I like this one. I found a few matches for that. Oh, you mm -hmm. know where it's at. I don't even know why I even ask. Every time I ask her for a Star Phillips demonstration, she always says she finds a few matches. And it's right there in the category, right there. Reese's Peanut Butter Lover's Cups are so peanut buttery, they don't need a celebrity endorsement. All right, so now we're going to do the Starfield and a fully lit environment. And like I said, a gray screen paint or, of course, you're not going to put a gray projection screen to your ceiling, but you're probably going to paint it in. But a gray screen paint mix or a gray screen paint product, even white, is not going to be able to do this. And even with the darker screens, I don't see too many black screens out there, to tell you the truth. Um, one of the things you're going to have to make sure that those white levels come up. With our technology, as you can see, with the Phoenix, the Phoenix produces that white level literally so high that it's able to match a white projection screen easily. Well, not match, sorry, I take that back. Not match a white projection screen, able to go toe to toe with it. As for gray screens, they can blend into gray screens very, very easily. Here we are showing the star field, lights on. And this is some place that white and gray screens just cannot go because they can't pick up those contrast levels. You're not going to get that 100% black level due to the fact that any white light in that environment, that screen's going to pick up and it's going to wash out automatically. So that's why our darker technology is perfect for this. All right, hope you enjoyed the video demonstration. Thank you all for your time. I gotta go. We're gonna be doing some more demonstrations off this surface. I'm gonna check out, hold on a minute. Before we go down this road, find my remote control. Three D wormhole screen saver. Getting that from YouTube. I'm dying to do one of these. Oh, that's that's very cool. I was curious to see what this would look like, a 3D wormhole. Let's get another one. Let me get this one right here. I wonder if they have 360 Ocean VR. Getting that from YouTube. Curious if they have this one. There's a really cool special effect on here for 3D Ocean. I wonder if it's on here. Sorry about that. As you can see, you can see image is crystal clear on here with no problem especially with this, this uh, Phoenix technology For. There's a particular video on here. It's actually pretty amazing. I'm gonna see if I can find it so we can do that demonstration. You're gonna get a kick out of that one, but I gotta find it first. That's what I have to do.
Let me see the menu from here. Let me put this on a stand because holding the phone like this, oh, hurts my arm so much. So let me put this on a stand. There's something else I'm gonna look for on here while I'm at it, while I'm up here. Yeah, my batteries are dying. Oh. Yeah, because it, it pauses, it sticks a little bit. That lets me know that my batteries are dying. I need to change my remote control out. What's this one right here? Oh, this one's pretty cool. This is the city scene. This one's cool. That's gonna display an entire city. That's not what I want. Getting there, almost there. Yeah, that's what I want it. That's what I want it. Want to see that? Let me get this off my stand real quick. Me bump into the one of her toys. Lights on real quick. Make sure it doesn't affect the screen in any way whatsoever. And it just shows you how powerful our ambient light rejection technology is. I can sit here and show you a demonstration of the Phoenix 19 painted to the ceiling. The ceiling light right in the center and the screen is not even affected. Sorry about that. It's me hitting the remote control by accident. The lights out. That's plenty for a minute. I'm gonna check out really quick the collage. That's what I want to see right here. Show you some of the bright colors the screen can pull off. I'm going to show you the screen, it's like a wash with our fee. Curve it to the side.
I'm gonna do those underwater fish too real quick. Why are we in here? Let's see. See how amazing, how realistic that looks. Put our lights on. Make sure it does not affect the picture quality at all whatsoever. I tell you something. We have done demonstrations outside, uh, displaying our technology. We have done demonstrations inside, and now we're doing demonstrations on the ceiling with the lights on. This is where gray and white screens can't go. Let's do one more. Let's do Matrix Screensaver 3D. Spinning that from YouTube. I'm going to take the LED lights out. Power the green. Like I said, there's no way in the world you can do this on a gray or white screen. It's not gonna pull up. You need that black background to do it. I'm just to show you how TV pops up on this. Nice and clean. I just want to share it real quick. There's the matrix code.
I need to do something really cool real quick. Where's my stand at? I want to do something really cool. Got an idea popping in my head right now. Let me see if I can pull this off. Hopefully my cat doesn't run by my camera at 100 miles an hour and knocks it down. Like I said, she's been a little, in the middle of the night when I get up and have to work late at night, she's uh, right there acting up. Behave yourself. We don't need any more crazies. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this up not for today because I don't want to run too much of my time now. But what we're going to do is we're going to run our ultra short throw projector here. I'm going to have the matrix run across the ceiling and coming down the screen here on the black screen. So, we'll do that for tomorrow. I'm going to set everything up because I have to go around the house and have to find uh, fire sticks that I have laying about the house for tests, for doing test demonstrations and stuff like that. So, I'm not going to have time to get everything gathered together. And we're at 33 already. I'm trying to keep this short and sweet. So we're going to do a matrix setup in here. Uh, today we're going to be messing around with the 3D mapping projector, showing you why black technology is better when it comes to that versus uh, gray screen paints and gray projection screen screens and um, uh, white screens. We're going to show you the difference why you better go with a darker technology. Also, too, we are bringing out a product called the Phoenix, or Silver Phoenix, and we'll talk more about that, too, also, too. Um, so, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for your time. I have to go, and God bless. Oh, let me and I'll put my lights on real quick to show you that you can see the screen with the lights on. It's not going to affect it whatsoever due to the fact you are using the Black Phoenix 19. A very powerful game technology. You don't have to worry about that image washing out or fading. Hope you enjoyed the video demonstration again. Thank you for your time. Showing you how you can think outside the box when using our products. Got to go, and God bless.